Can I make a confession to you? Sure. I do think I had a crush on him when we were younger. It's okay. Okay. Yes? It's like this broody, angry person. Do you think I could borrow your <laughs> Sad <keychain>? boy. <laughs> Someday we'll get a hang of this. Not today. All right. Lumiere. Lumiere. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. All right. <laughs> we have so many eyeballs left. One, two, four, seven, One, two, four. <laughs> seven, nine, fourteen eyeballs left. Jesus. Okay. Nancy, you you can't check that off you. yet. You, you, you. Yo, yo, yo. Can't check that off yet. Check out the letter. Still have to do that. Can we not do that? I guess we didn't read it oh. thoroughly. Can't check that off yet. Figure out a way to get Henry off his keychain. I haven't done that. Size. I haven't done that. Get to it, Nancy. Yeah. Still have to do that. Okay, read his books. Look at the library again. Still have to do that. Okay, go to the buzzard statues. Jesus. Still okay. have to do that. Marshall. Did that. Okay, just diggy up as a mailman. Check. Just diggy up as an optometrist. Um, All done. Yep. So we found the letter. We just haven't read it. I guess, I guess we didn't look at it close enough. All done. That. I haven't done that. Okay, I'm gonna look at the light garden all the way. Mm, I think that might be the crypt. Oh, right, right, right. That may be a later thing. Uh, Still have books. to do that. Okay. The teeth. The butt teeth. The butt teeth. What is this? Uh, oh, that's the. Okay. Time will tell. It's probably has to do with the clock downstairs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Baron's Tale. Probably was in the library. Mm. Um, you're many, you're many. so astute. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> in a book reading rainbow. <laughs> it's that <laughs> kind of thigh. Got the card, card catalog. But Sizer. this is where there's those butt teeth. Yes. And I'd like them just to be like, here's the code. Like, you know, no, like... He's eccentric. Yeah, something. <laughs> <laughs> He's a dentist. Steps in the right direction. Mechanical feathers from metal were pound. Wires and springs and levers were wound. As levers are pulled, solutions compound. A feather stands up, but another falls down. You won't need a peek if you listen to sound. Inside this drawing, a solution is found. Master of buzzards, drop key to the ground. Okay. Okay. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, what uh, we need yeah. to do is... <laughs> Insert Listen. solution. <laughs> uh, okay. Who knows? It's not a cold nonsense. Be something you win. <laughs> Die, drop, <laughs> man. No, no, the page is missing. Oh. Ah! <laughs> no wonder this guy didn't have any friends. What's written on the headstone will lead you to another, and so on and so forth. The tiny treasure you discover. The last den is buried on my guard. Okay, so... It's... Oh, so we should go to his book. Yeah, the book of all the buried people. Midday, which is noon. What time will it be when three hours have passed? Three o'clock, four a.m. It's six hours before then. Ten? <laughs> no, before four a.m. <laughs> I can't tell time on a regular <laughs> clock. Okay, okay, we can do this. Can do this. <laughs> yeah. An eyeball! Excellent. Mm -hmm. We were getting there eventually. Yeah. Okay. Um, at least they're giving us like a few eyeballs with this task. Yeah. Is that a snake eye? Uh, or cat eye? Something. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Another eye. Thank you. Ooh. Shutting good. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. Uh, all right. Go away, you stupid clock. Oy, oy, oy. Oy, oy, oy. I mean, imagine it from this guy's perspective. He's just sitting there, like, stressed out, trying to deal with, like, matters of his, you know, uncle's estate. Mm -hmm. And this gal is just running around, <laughs> playing with the grandfather <laughs> clock. <laughs> like, bouncing inside and outside and inside and outside. Like, upstairs. tracking mud in. Yeah. Killing all the wasps outside. Can I make a confession to you? Sure. I do think I had a crush on him when we were younger. It's okay. Okay. Yes? It's like this broody, angry person. Do you think I could borrow your <laughs> Sad <key> boy. <laughs> the one that has Bruno's glass Sad eye on it? Boy. You want to borrow it? What for? Actually, all I really want is the eye. At this point, I mean, just, just say so what you're doing. Cool. Yeah. Right? What if you break like, it? Your uncle was crazy. It needed all these eyes to... Solve uh, a puzzle. I won't. No. I'll be really careful. I promise. I don't think I want to take that chance. Sorry. The box of your great uncle's things that you sold she to Zeke's curio him? shop. That was a no-no, wasn't it? What box of things? I don't know what you're talking about. The guy who owns the shop said you sold him a box of assorted items. I am assuming they used to be Bruno's. Well, somebody screwed up somewhere because I haven't sold anything to anybody. Why would I sell one lousy box of stuff when I'm about to inherit a whole house full of stuff? Get real. You sold True. it because you needed some quick cash in order to keep Summer happy, didn't you? How do you know about her? Playing detective is actually a lot more than a hobby with me. I could make a lot of trouble for you, Henry. But if oh. you come clean... Summer was his girlfriend? Tell me yeah. about Summer. She's this girl I'm in love with. I think she loves me back, but she's so unpredictable, it drives me nuts. How is she unpredictable? I never know what's gonna make her happy. Like, just before I left, Talk. I took practically mm. every bit of cash I had and bought her a bunch of CDs, you know, to keep her occupied CDs? while I was gone, right? Well, soon as I get here, she calls and says her sound system just went bluey, and I had to buy her a new one, because what good were the CDs I bought her if she couldn't play them? So then I... So then you threw a bunch of Bruno's things into a box and sold it to that curio shop. Yeah. I wired her the money, but then she called and said Check she also wire. needed Check new headphones. Oh, you Next haven't seen call, it was in a speakers. No. And now she expects me to buy her a flat screen TV. When I try to talk to her about always wanting more like that, oh, she gets really screen, mad. TV. But I'm afraid if Those I don't give her what things? she wants, she'll... <laughs> the, I'm the Michael she'll Scott dump. Dump. A lot of people in the room, you need more space. Voila, right into the wall. Wow. Sometimes I will just stand here and watch television for hours. I love it. Look, you don't need to go telling Renee or any of those lawyers about selling that stuff, right? Mm, I guess I could just that. forget all about it. Your <laughs> Especially if you were to, say, do something for me. Wow. I know. Answer. You still want the glass eye? Take it. Go ahead. It's quit, all quit, yours. Quit, quit, you yeah. want something, I want something. Take it and we're even, okay? Well, it's not like you sold off half the estate or anything. 300 bucks. That's all I've gotten out of his estate. I swear. Go on, take it. Uh, have we ever seen Nancy blackmail someone before? No, this is morally questionable. I was Lovely not. Nancy. But from now on, I'll be nice, I promise. Do you know anything about the crystal skull that was in that box of junk you sold to Zeke's? There wasn't any crystal skull in that box. Bum, bum, bum. Are you sure? It would have been inside another box. Well, I did throw in some smaller boxes. Like I said, I was just grabbing the stuff. Smash it with a hammer! <laughs> I'll put that flea in a box, and then I'll put that box inside of another box, and then I'll mail that box to myself. And when it arrives, <laughs> I'll smash it with a hammer! For sure right now is that it's missing. Great. Be just my luck to have sold something that wasn't junk to that glorified trash collector. I'll stop bugging Groovy. you now. Groovy. Movie. Okie dokie. I am just. Oh, here's the card catalog. Oh, we missed that before. No. Bridges to nowhere. A camel and the needle's eye. Cat's eye. Kelly's in their prevention. Turnitids. Turnitids. This is Tar. Eye candy. Grinding fake eyes. Turn a blind eye. A librarian's tale. Hmm. Something Bruno Bollet wrote in that Tired Eyes book. 
mentioned the librarian's eye. Uh, Nancy's paying attention. Yeah. <laughs> I think maybe this is why I didn't care for this one as a kid, because it, it's a lot of puzzles. Yeah. I have ADHD. This is hard sometimes. Yeah. <gasps> oh, looking at the librarian's tale. A great keeper of books, it's true of my many readers. Wait. I'd say it's bad. <laughs> but how's the thing additions the hook that will let you remove the orb from its nook? Oh, title and edition. That's not like. That's interesting. Edition for like books is not spelled with an A. You have to add. So 608. What was the first one? That was the first one. The mm -hmm. librarian's tale. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go this. I'm gonna do it that way. 401. 401. Here. No, just get your calculator. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, I, I got it. <laughs> okay. 401. Six oh eight. Six oh eight. Ten. So 1540. Here we go. A librarian's tale. Dun dun dun. Boop. Oh. Another eyeball. We are just. How many have we got now? 16. 16. Ooh. Out of 20 something? 25. Nine more. Oh, this is the very back. Okay. Ho ho! Ah. Ay, ay, ay. We could be dentists now. Please no. I actually I hate the dentist. Yeah. We, so we talked to him. Is there anything else if we try to say anything to him? Uh, yes. Nope. I'm going to keep looking around. Whatever. I would have bet money that it was Renee selling stuff, but yeah. Hey, Renee. Hello lost money. again. I think I found the letter that Dr. Bollet was reading when he had his fatal heart attack. Iggy the Iguana had taken it. Apparently, Dr. Bollet did have a crystal skull and believed possessing it would oh, make him right. immortal. Fake. So he had mm -hmm. it tested. And the lab sent him its findings in this letter. Read the second paragraph. My analysis showed that the skull, while made of remarkably pure crystal, was carved using modern instruments. In layman's terms, the skull is a fake. My guess is Dr. Boulay believed in the skull so completely that when he mm -hmm. read it was a fake, he was totally devastated and his heart just stopped. But what I don't quite understand is, why did you tell me you didn't know about the crystal skull when this letter indicates you did? All right. Dr. Boulay told me about the skull. As you said, he believed with all his might owning that skull was the reason he was still going strong at 9 to 5. I lied to you because, well, for one thing, Dr. Bollet swore me to secrecy. And for another, he kept the skull hidden. And up until just this minute, I wanted to be the one who found it. What made Dr. Bollet decide to have the skull authenticated? Getting the skull tested was my idea. When Dr. Bollet told me about it, I was skeptical and that troubled him. So I helped him find a private laboratory where we could take it, so any and all doubts would be dispelled once and for all. I certainly did not anticipate that the truth would result in his keeling over and dying like that. Well, now that I too know that the skulls are fake, I can stop fretting over its whereabouts. In fact, I should probably thank you and Iggy for setting me straight. That shovel over there with the interesting handle, do you think I could borrow it? Dr. Bollet took great interest Bang. in that shovel. <laughs> Don't know why. He never used it. Just like to see it hanging there. Me, I use it to dig up roots. I could dig you up some roots. I could dig you up some roots. Where right now I, I need mushrooms. I was hoping to get them picked tonight, but from the looks of all this potting I still have to do, I'd be happy to pick them for you. Wow, what a generous offer. All right, fly. then. 
I need five painted conks. They're mushrooms that have got a short, fat stem and a large, bell-shaped cap covered with big red dots. You might find one or two here in the garden, but you'll have better luck in the boggy part of the cemetery. You get me five, boggy. no more, no less, and I'll let you borrow that shovel. No more. <laughs> yeah, that's so weird. Deal. You can put them in this bag. Okay. Okay. How else may I be of service to you? Well, there I'll leave you to your potting. Yeah. Fare the well. Fare the well. So there's one. There's one around here. Yeah, it's like if you go that way, then turn around. Uh, maybe I have to go up a little more. Then turn around. There it is. This nice. has got to be a painted conch. My painted conch. <laughs> there goes. Is there one over here? I thought so. Yeah, there he is. Another painted conch. Yes. That yes. looks very poisonous. Touch it with your bare hands, Nancy. There's one by the bayou. In the bayou. Going, Going down, down the bayou. <laughs> A good movie. I'm sure you watch that. All right, I don't know what direction I'm going. No painted conch here. Yeah, that way. Oh, I bet the gator will get her. Gator. That's where you run, Nancy. <laughs> she took that surprisingly well. <laughs> At least we didn't die, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I thought I was gonna die. Oh well. Uh, I know there was one to the left when you first came in, but... Yes, how many do we have now? Three? Three. Oh, there was one on the scenic overlook. Aha! So And okay. then if you go back to the main area. Yep. Oh, okay. I'm no more, no less. I'll cut you. I'll cut you. I'll cut you right in the throat. With the bone shovel. Did you pick me those mushrooms yet? Jeez, yes. Sure did. Well, bless your heart, you did it. Actually, picking the one growing on the log sticking out of the swamp was a little hairy. Oh my, I forgot to warn you about Bernie, didn't I? If by Bernie you mean the alligator that almost had me for dinner, yeah, you did. He's another one of Dr. Bolet's pets. He'd kick that log to get Bernie's attention, then feed him marshmallows. Problem is, now that gator leaps up and snaps every time someone so much as touches that log. Would have been good I information. I should have said something, mm -hmm. but I've gotten so used to Bernie, I just plain forgot. I had hoped anyway, he'd eat you. feel free to help Not yourself to that shovel. You earned it. Nice talking to you. Come see me anytime. Wasn't nice. My shovel. What are we doing with the shovel? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Steps in the right direction. The story. In a place where bones are buried. Oh, we have to go look at the the plot book as well. Oh, uh, Charlie Wicker. Oh, we know where him he is. Oh, that's oh with the directions. Okay, this is what kind of my shovel to find the way. Okay, so do we want to do the book first, the plot book, uh, Charlie Wicker, or the buzzards? I mean, we're out here. I guess we can go to the buzzards. Okay. Hello again. No, I don't want to talk to you. I'd better get going. Thanks for coming by. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a pleasure, Renee. I'll come back now. That's with their little... Oh, no. That was six. <gasps> Oh. <laughs> Bruno, you are 
insane. Okay. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. It was some sort of key. This is the most ridiculous. But the man is insane, you know? Okay. 21. So we need four more. Thank God. Okay. Ah! No, 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 no. Peppy. Smart. Go! Don't pick up! Oh, that's the, the three fingers. Okay. One. North. I feel like there was an easier way to do this. <laughs> Goodness gracious, sweet balls of fire. I mean, we're getting there. This one. The last denizen buried on my guard will start you a hunting through the graveyard. What's written on the headstone will lead you to another, and so on and so forth till tiny treasure you discover. Okay, so the last denizen. Tammy Tasselman. Tierra Siesta. <laughs> That looks like the right name. Okay. Couldn't sleep without a peep, so when she died, we buried her deep. Constant snoring. Cro hard, hard, hard. Crowing crips. That's gotta be it. Mm -hmm. Gotta be. Gotta be. Never early, never late. That looks like the right name. All dressed up with no place to go. <laughs> Again, yeah, this has to be I'm Bruno's no elaborate scheme here, which is like, at a certain point, just... <laughs> well, I mean, assuming these are actually people, I mean, we're seeing gravestones. So he's, did he purpose... Did he... I don't know. Like, maybe they're fake. Did he, is it fake, or did he actually find Make the people puzzle with pun names? I don't like know. Like he only let people be buried there if they had if they had pun names. names. <laughs> uh, What's the, there's like some from the uh, Simpsons where Bart calls in. Oh, I'd like to speak to Ms. Tinkle. First name Ivana. Ivana Tinkle. Just a sec. Ivana Tinkle. Ivana Tinkle! Died in debt. <laughs> Everyone. Everyone. Oh, and more. <laughs> Good God, how many are there? Too many. See, I think it's time. You don't need to be involved in this anymore. I think no. it's time to just leave. <laughs> I feel like I feel like Ned and Nancy need help with their boundaries. Yeah. A stand-up person. 
kneel down. Well, that's the opposite of a stand-up person. Spread the name! <laughs> Let's hope Neil is lying down by now. I hope Neil's dead. Yeah, jeez, Nancy. Nancy's getting her steps in today. <laughs> She's got 400,000 steps. <laughs> and pneumonia. Yeah. No. No, yes. All that's left of me are these old bones. My remains. Ha 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 ha. <gasps> Bingo. Bloomed too late, pruned too early. Rose winter spring. Sure. Sprig. Smells right to me. God. The dead people we're talking about. <laughs> Show some respect. Polyester Givens. Stop it. You should Hopefully name your kid. This will give me a clue. Mm -hmm. I didn't even pay this one in because I yeah, she made a pun. Get the hell out of here, Nancy. Same name as my dog at 10, moved from his grave and buried again. That was his picture of the dog. Hello? Hi, Bess. How you doing? Great. I just took a nice, luxurious bubble bath and I'm ready to boogie. When are you coming back here? That's still kind of hard to, to say. To but listen, my pneumonia. <coughs> remember that old photo of a boy and his dog you said you saw in that box of stuff Henry sold to Lamont? Yeah. Did it look like it was maybe taken in the 1920s? That's exactly what it looked like. Why? Because I need to find out the name of Bruno Bollet's dog. And if that boy was Bruno, then that was probably his dog. Was there any writing on the picture? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I think it said Bruno. That's all it said? Just Bruno? No, it, it said Bruno and, but whatever came after and was hidden by the frame. I really need to know the name of that dog. Oh, no. No, you don't. No more snooping. Uh-uh. Bess, just get into that box again and see if the dog's name is on that picture. That's all I want you to do. How? Oh, I can't just go waltzing into Lamont's back room. You set up that And he's for sure as heck not going to fall for that machine. sneeze contraption again. There must Why not? Be it worked the first time. <laughs> Please, Bess. I can't tell you how important this is. You've got to okay. do this for me. Please. Okay. They were just like, no, and the game ended. We're not going to have any fun here until you solve this mystery. And since you can't do that until I do this. Okay. I'll sneak into the back room and take another look at that photo. Therapy. I mean, I will if I don't screw up. Think positive, mm -hmm. Beth. You're gonna do fine. You, do you bet I am. In fact, I'm not in going to call you again like until I have seen that problems. picture. I'm going in. You go, girl. That gumbo stand outside? What do you think? Is it pretty authentic? Outstanding! Just watch the hot sauce. Whatever's in it gives my stomach instant fits. You know, I still now? feel guilty about that sneezing thing. This feels so like a crime. 